On to the headlines. WHO declares mpox outbreaks in Africa a global health emergency. Indian doctors strike nationwide after trainee doctors tragic death. Zambia's former first lady, Maureen Mwanawasa, passes away. Hurricane Ernesto brings torrential rain to Puerto Rico, strengthens towards Bermuda. Gormahia striker Benson Omala leaves for Lebanon. Good morning and welcome to Traceability TV News, your source for the latest updates on global traceability and safety concerns. I'm your host, Marianne Munyoki. The World Health Organization has declared the Mpox outbreak in Africa, particularly in Congo, a global health emergency. The declaration comes as cases of Mpox, also known as monkeypox, spread across more than a dozen countries in Africa, affecting both children and adults. The African Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reported over 500 deaths and has called for international support to curb the virus's spread. World Health Organization Director General Tedros Adhaham emphasized the global concern, stating, The potential for further spread within Africa and beyond is very worrying. This outbreak, which has seen a 160% increase in cases, and a 19% rise in deaths compared to last year remains largely concentrated in Congo, where 96% of the cases and deaths are reported. Vaccine availability is limited, adding to the urgency for global intervention. In India, a nationwide strike by doctors has erupted following the rape and murder of a female trainee doctor. Doctors across India took to the streets in protest, demanding better protections for healthcare workers after the tragic rape and murder of a 31-year-old resident doctor at Kolkata Car Medical College and Hospital. Federal investigators are now in Kolkata to investigate the crime which has ignited widespread outrage. The victim's body was found last Friday with signs of sexual abuse and multiple injuries. The strike has halted elective procedures and drawn attention to the harsh conditions in India's government-run hospitals. The arrested suspect is under investigation as the government faces mounting pressure to improve safety and working conditions for healthcare professionals. Zambia's former First Lady Maureen Mwanawasa has passed away at the age of 61. Maureen Mwanawasa, widow of Zambia's third president, Levi Mwanawasa, died late Tuesday after a brief illness in Lusaka. Known for her advocacy in social justice, community development and public health, Mrs. Mwanasa was a prominent figure in Zambia's political and social landscape. She was involved in her husband's presidential campaign and held leadership roles in various organizations, including the Organization of African First Ladies Against HIV and AIDS. President Hakainde Hichilema described her passing as a deep shock, highlighting her significant contributions to Zambia's development and her advocacy. Work. South Africa has unveiled its national AI policy framework, aiming to lead in artificial intelligence innovation, marking a major step towards becoming a leader in AI technology. The framework focuses on fostering innovation, driving economic growth, and enhancing digital inclusion across various sectors. It emphasizes creating a robust AI ecosystem through coordinated efforts in research talent development, and infrastructure enhancement. By addressing national challenges and leveraging AI opportunities, South Africa aims to position itself competitively on the global stage. The policy-making process includes rigorous analysis, adoption, and evaluation phase to ensure effective implementation. In Lagos, a rapid transit bus was attacked in broad daylight, leaving passengers shaken and robbed of their valuables. The incident took place around 1 p.m. near the Alfia bus stop as the bus was en route from Mal 2 to CMS. Eyewitness Dari Abiola reported that the attackers disguised as protesters against the recent motorcycle seizures by the task force ambushed the bus smashing its windows and windshield before forcibly taking possessions from the passengers. This alarming event has raised serious concerns about the safety and security of the city's public transportation system. We will now take our first commercial break. Stay tuned for more news updates after the break. Welcome to Traceability TV. 
your ultimate destination for all things traceability. We're the global platform that brings you the latest in traceability news, interviews, and live event coverage. From in-depth news updates to exclusive interviews, Traceability TV keeps you informed on the practices that are transforming industries worldwide. Our mission is simple, empowering organizations to achieve transparency, accountability, and sustainability throughout their supply chains. Our vision, a world where every product's journey is visible, ethical, and sustainable. At Traceability TV, we offer unparalleled opportunities for brand visibility. Feature your company, highlight your traceability solutions, and showcase your commitment to GS1 standards. Leverage our expertise to create high-quality advertisement videos that resonate with your audience. A sponsor segment to position your brand as a leader in the traceability space. You can support us by partnering on special projects. Your contributions help us deliver more in-depth analyses and expand our global coverage. Traceability TV is more than just a channel, it's a movement. Join us in building a future where every product's journey is visible and trusted. Traceability TV. We trace it, you trust it. In business news, Asian shares have risen following a strong performance in the United States and positive GDP data from Japan. Asian stock markets experienced a positive upswing, largely driven by favorable U.S. inflation data and healthy economic growth reported by Japan. Japan's Nikkei 225 index rose by 0.8%, while the Shanghai Composite surged by 1.0%. Japan's economy grew at an annual rate of 3.1% in the April-June period, recovering from a previous contraction. Domestic demand and exports contributed significantly to this growth. The robust economic performance provided a boost to regional markets, reflecting optimism about economic stability and growth. Cisco Systems is set to cut 7% of its workforce as part of a strategic shift towards AI and cybersecurity. Cisco has announced it will lay off approximately 5,900 employees, accounting for 7% of its workforce, in its second round of job cuts this year. The move is part of Cisco's strategy to focus on rapidly growing areas such as artificial intelligence and cybersecurity. The company plans to invest $1 billion in tech startups and has partnered with NVIDIA to develop AI infrastructure. Cisco's decision follows similar moves by other tech giants, including Intel, which also recently announced significant job cuts. Despite the layoffs, Cisco's shares saw a rise in after-hours trading, reflecting investors' confidence in the company's strategic direction. On to weather news. Hurricane Ernesto has unleashed heavy rain and power outages in Puerto Rico and is now strengthening as it heads towards Bermuda. The hurricane has brought torrential rain to Puerto Rico, causing significant power outages that affected nearly half of the island's customers. With maximum sustained winds of 85 meters per hour, the storm is now about 675 miles south-southwest of Bermuda. A hurricane watch is in effect for Bermuda, with potential tropical storm conditions expected Friday and hurricane conditions by Saturday. The storm led to school and government closures in Puerto Rico and the U.S. and British Virgin Islands. Heavy flooding forced roadblocks and the cancellation of a 140 flight. An Ernesto moves towards Bermuda. Residents are bracing for its impact, while recovery efforts continue in Puerto Rico. In Japan, Typhoon Ampel is approaching Tokyo, causing significant disruptions as transport services are halted. The typhoon is expected to bring severe weather to Tokyo and eastern Japan, with strong winds and heavy rain forecasted through Saturday and Sunday. The storm's approach has led to the cancellation of hundreds of flights and Shinkansen bullet train services, disrupting travel during the peak bond summer holiday period. The Japan Meteorological Agency has warned of potential natural disasters caused by the typhoon, including up to 300 millimeters of rain in the Kantokoshin region. 
Authorities are urging residents to prepare for the impact as the typhoon continues to intensify. Good morning and welcome to Visibility Sports News. I'm your host Regan Getao. We begin the news from the football transfer market. Paris Saint-Germain has officially ended their pursuit of Napoli forward Victor Osimhen. According to renowned sports journalist Fabrizio Romano, the French champions had agreed to personal terms with a Nigerian striker. However, negotiations with Napoli proved difficult, leading PSG to shift their focus to other targets in a bid to strengthen their attacking lineup. Meanwhile, Chelsea has been offered Osimhen as part of the potential deal that could see Romelu Lukaku move to Naples, reuniting with the former manager Antonio Conto. Gor Mahia faces a significant challenge after confirming the departure of the top striker, Benson Omala. Omala has joined Lebanese club Al Safa FC leaving a void in Kormahia's front line. Last season, Omala was the league's golden boot winner, scoring an impressive 19 goals and leading the team to a record-extending 20th league title. His ability to find the back of the net and create space for his teammates will be sorely missed. As Kormahia looks to defend its title, the question remains, who will step up to fill the shoes of their star striker? That wraps up our news bulletin for the day. Stay tuned for an informative documentary on the revolution of AI in traceability. And until next time, I'm your host, Miriam Munyoki, and this is Traceability TV. In the modern age, the revolution of artificial intelligence is transforming industries at an unprecedented pace. From healthcare to retail, logistics to finance, AI is no longer just a futuristic concept. It's a powerful tool reshaping the way we live, work and interact. At the heart of this revolution lies one critical element, traceability. Traceability is the cornerstone of accountability and transparency. It provides the ability to track products, services, and even data throughout their entire life cycle. However, as global supply chains become increasingly intricate, traditional tracking methods have struggled to keep up with the demands of modern commerce. AI is a force that is transforming the landscape of traceability, pushing the boundaries of what's possible and redefining how we ensure integrity and trust in an interconnected world. AI's unparalleled ability to process vast amounts of data at astonishing speeds is revolutionizing traceability in ways we'd never imagined. It's no longer confined to simply tracking a product's journey from point A to B. AI delves deep into the intricate web of interactions, decisions, and processes that define the entire life cycle of a product. AI algorithms can seamlessly sift through data from countless sources, unveiling patterns and anomalies with a precision that surpasses human capabilities. This transformative power is reshaping entire industries, from food and beverage to pharmaceuticals and retail, where ensuring the origin and authenticity of products is not just important, it's essential. Take the food industry, where AI is not just enhancing traceability, it's revolutionizing the way we think about the safety and sustainability of what we eat. Picture AI as a vigilant guardian, tirelessly monitoring every link in the supply chain in real time. It's not just keeping watch, it's anticipating and intercepting potential threats, flagging contamination risks before they ever have a chance to become a crisis. Imagine a world where a single tainted batch of produce can be tracked back to its source within minutes, not days or weeks. This is the extraordinary power of AI in action, averting disasters, saving lives, and building an unshakable trust in the food we consume. AI is more than a tool, 
It's a beacon of reliability in a complex and interconnected world. The fight against counterfeit drugs has never been more critical, and AI is on the front line. Machine learning algorithms can detect anomalies in drug manufacturing processes, ensuring that every pill, vial, and syringe is genuine, safe, and effective. This technology doesn't just stop at the manufacturing stage. AI-powered traceability extends to distribution, helping to track medicines as they move through the global supply chain, ensuring they reach the right patients at the right time. In the retail sector, traceability is emerging as a defining factor for brands dedicated to sustainability and ethical practices. AI is unlocking a level of transparency that was once thought impossible. By meticulously tracking the journey of a product from raw materials to its final purchase, retailers can offer consumers the complete narrative of what they're buying. This isn't just about origin, it's about accountability and authenticity. AI goes a step further, predicting the environmental impact of production decisions and guiding companies towards a more sustainable practices. It's a revolution in retail, where traceability powered by AI is transforming how we shop, ensuring that every purchase tells a responsible and transparent story. AI's role in traceability is not limited to physical products. In the digital realm, AI is being used to trace the flow of information and data, ensuring that it remains secure and trustworthy. In a world where data breaches and misinformation are growing concerns, AI-driven traceability can help safeguard the integrity of digital ecosystems from financial transactions to personal data. As AI evolves, our understanding of its impact on privacy, ethics and security must evolve as well. The same algorithms that make AI an extraordinary tool for traceability also have the potential to track individuals in ways that challenge our ethical boundaries. Embracing AI's potential means carefully navigating these challenges, ensuring that the technology is wielded responsibly and for the collective good. The revolution of AI in traceability is still in its early stages, but its impact is already being felt across industries and around the world. As AI continues to advance, the possibilities of traceability are boundless, from safeguarding the food we consume and the medicines we take, to fostering sustainability in retail and securing our digital lives, AI is paving the way for a world that is more transparent, accountable and interconnected. In this new era, traceability transcends being merely a feature, it becomes a core value. With AI leading the way, we are charting a course towards a future where everything and everyone can be traced with unmatched precision and trust. The revolution is here and it's only just beginning. Welcome to Traceability TV, your ultimate destination for all things traceability. We're the global platform that brings you the latest in traceability news, interviews and live event coverage. From in-depth news updates to exclusive interviews, Traceability TV keeps you informed on the practices that are transforming industries worldwide. Our mission is simple empowering organizations to achieve transparency, accountability, and sustainability throughout their supply chains. Our vision? A world where every product's journey is visible, ethical, and sustainable. At Traceability TV, we offer unparalleled opportunities for brand visibility. Feature your company, highlight your traceability solutions, and showcase your commitment to GS1 standards. Leverage our expertise to create high-quality advertisement videos that resonate with your audience. A sponsor segment to position your brand as a leader in the traceability space. You can support us by partnering on special projects. Your contributions help us deliver more in-depth analyses and expand our global coverage. Traceability TV is more than just a channel. It's a movement. Join us in building a future where every product's journey is visible and trusted. Traceability TV. We trace it, you trust it.